In this video, I'll be ranking the top 5 best Windows emulators for Android devices according to their performance, compatibility, low-end device support, and the overall experience. I'll be ranking these emulators according to how well do they actually work on your mobile devices and what more you are going to get in future. So before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel. Let's jump right into our today's number 5 spot which is going to be the official Horizon emulator Android. Now if you guys know Horizon, you know it was one of the best performing windows emulators for android devices of all time to be honest even now the performance which you get in horizon emulator is not comparable to any other windows emulators in today's list because horizon emulator basically used to use an n22 benchmark build version of the windows emulator which boosted its performance but also caused heating issues and crashing issues well let's talk about the horizon emulators latest version which is the version 3.0 it was released about eight months ago i believe and since then we haven't seen any development regarding this emulator because horizon emulator has been officially discontinued it was hacked multiple times and it had lot of controversies because it was basically a version of mobox edge the og mobox emulator basically horizon emulator was was a leak version of mobox edge and that's why there were so many controversies haters who tried taking this emulator down and they did succeed because it was leak version of mobox emulator and because of it the development of mobox emulator the first ever official proper windows emulator for android stopped moving on on the number four spot of for today's video we have my swine emulator now my swine is a brand new windows emulator for android which has been recently under development since the past six to nine months and it has been proven to be a very interesting project Project because it uses a graphics driver known as Android Wrapper which means better compatibility for Mali GPU Android devices and even unsupported Snapdragon processors like Snapdragon 8 Elite and so on. Now unfortunately my swine is still in its experimental stages it is not very compatible with lots of games like GTA 5 and many other titles they just do not work. Some of the games that, that do work are old games such as Assassin's Creed Rogue, GTA 4 and so on. Basically old games work though I have already made multiple setup videos on how to set up and play the My Swine emulator on Android devices. You guys will be able to watch that video on the iCard above. This is one of those Windows emulators which is currently in active development and which may become a really amazing project in the future. With that being said on the number 10 spot for today's video we have the official winlater android this version of winlater android was released just a month ago and you guys already know there was a controversy regarding winlater android containing virus inside the container well finally the developer has fixed it so you don't need to worry about any of that the hotfix version basically is the safe version of winlater android and speaking of winlater android you might be surprised how is it on the number three spot well that's because the performance is mid the gameplay experience is mid right now. It used to be pretty amazing back in the days when WinLater came out. It was really impressive to see the games that it was able to emulate. But now after WinLater 7.1.3 and later, the performance seemed to have dropped recently in WinLater 9.0 and 10.0. There were issues with the virtual gamepad. You can't even play virtual gamepad directly in few games. The virtual gamepad straight up refuses to work. So on-screen touch controls issues are there. And basically, even though the Glipsy support has been implemented, in the newest version of WinLater Android. There aren't any major performance improvements compared to the Glipsy version of WinLater Android, uh, the Glipsy 7.1.3 etc which we'll talk about more later on in the video. So currently in number 3 spot we have WinLater Android 10.0. Moving on, on the number 2 spot of for today's video, surprisingly, we have WinLater Android once again but the WinLater Frost slash WinLater C mode Glipsy version of WinLater Android. Now let me tell you guys two things. WinLater Frost has implemented the WinLater FA which is the best performing version of WinLater Android. WinLater Frost also provides more customizability and more tweaks inside the Windows emulator container. WinLater Frost also supports the same things like the Glipsy from WinLater 10 along with that Vote graphics driver for even Mali GPU Android device which was added recently in WinLater 10.0. So WinLater Frost is basically the most compatible and most feature rich Windows emulator for Android that is easily modifiable. You can run multiple games. The compatibility is mind blowing. But unfortunately, once again, as it is a folk version of WinLater 10.0, it does not have mind blowing amount of performance. If you ask me, WinLater C mode Glipsy, which is also on the number two spot, is really well supported on low end Android devices, but it does not work with Mali GPU, by the way. Now, 
nor does it work with the latest Snapdragon processor Android devices. Winlater Seymour Glipsy is basically the best performing version of Winlater Android but unfortunately it's not compatible with newer devices or newer graphics driver that's what's holding it back but if you use the Winlater Seymour Glipsy latest version then I am sure your mind will be blown away. I have personally done multiple gameplay tests of that emulator and it always blew me away. It is always better than the normal version of Winlater Android in terms of performance. So Winlater Seymour Glipsy is the best Winlater performance based Windows emulator for Android. Moving on on, on the number one spot of for today's video, we have the one and only Game Hub Windows Emulator for Android. Now, guys, I was I thought about it. Game Hub is basically the most stable Windows Emulator for Android. If you have a Snapdragon processor Android device, it is very easy to set up. It is very easy to import games. Uh, most of the times, if you are emulating big titles, the configurations are pre-configured, which means you can simply tap on Play Now and start enjoying your PC game on your Android device. Apart from that, you also get customizability, not as much as obviously win later frost or win later c mode you get good amount of customizability and settings to tweak your gameplay experience you can modify uh, the box 64 presets by going into translation parameters basically it has lot of settings which will make your gameplay experience much better and one of my favorite setting is the ability to import components directly from the game hub emulator settings itself whereas in all the other windows emulator that i mentioned so far you need to manually add them on your android device so basically game hub is very easy to set up very user friendly very stable and provides really good gameplay experience and performance not as good as the other emulators that i mentioned but just as good if not better it works with games like spider-man god of war grand theft auto 5 and all these big titles it works properly without any issues so in my opinion game hub emulator definitely deserves the number one spot do let me know in the comment section down below what are your honest opinions on our today's list what emulator would you rank on the number one spot if not game hub emulator and let me know if I did good in this ranking. That's going to be it for today's video though. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and peace out.